Okay. And then we have Sweet Tooth. Hey, thank you, man. Uh, as a high voltage electrician, you're welcome, Brian. Thank you for all your work. A, like I said, with the trucker, man. Bro, you're, you are the backbone of society. Electri we don't need podcasters, you know? You know? We need hardworking men that are going to contribute to the infrastructure of society. And it's a shame that um, feminists hate men because men are kind of awesome. I don't know why I'm looking at far. You're putting Wiley's. us against electricians? How dare you? Yes, I'm. The backbone? Yes. <laughs> you couldn't finish the end of your compliments. You turned it on us. <laughs> I was. But keep the, going. Keep praising him. Oh, yeah, of course. Why do you make it political? You know, just because uh, I, I feel like men don't get enough appreciation. There's too much vilification of men in society when, let's be honest, if all men disappeared tomorrow, shit would hit the fan. Major. And it's because of men like Sweet Tooth, questionable, a little questionable name, you know, just saying. But it's because of men like Sweet Tooth, electricians, people who work in infrastructure, transport, that society functions. And these men are not appreciated. Do you think if all women disappeared, shit wouldn't hit the fan? You would all thrive? Well, so society would continue functioning. Really? Yes. It would it would not be good but like if if and I'll really we can talk about like hypothetical situations but if you compare all men disappearing to all women disappearing within 72 hours you basically have it wouldn't be good for if all women disappeared but like the basic necessities like to keep society functioning society would continue functioning but Whereas, society wouldn't exist if women stopped giving birth to well if, if either gender time. if either genders it dis, well actually sperm banks well <laughs> mm, actually here's the thing though what those sperm banks you okay you need power the, the here's the thing men keep society functioning what about when men left and every woman became like Rosie the Riveter? Shit didn't really hit the fan. Well, there were still men involved in the uh, infrastructure of the country. Not all men were sent off to, are you, I assume you're talking about World War II, mm -hmm. where women were involved in the, the war effort. Mm -hmm. Yes, largely women did, I mean, not all men went off to war, but uh, women did show up for the war effort and took on jobs that would have chair, otherwise yeah. been jobs occupied by men. So doesn't that prove that women can rise to the occasion and do male-dominated jobs if the need arises? With, with the appropriate planning and time, but the, the specific scenario is if all women disappear or all men disappear, you wouldn't have the necessary time to introduce women into these critical uh, fields. So men are vilified and undervalued because if you gave women 24 hours to resume society after their disappearance... We would need more time. Like I don't I'm understand not following your point. Your, I'm not following the question. You're saying men are vilified because if they disappeared tomorrow, women can take I'm over. Not, they're not said, vilified because of that. I'm saying that there's there's this uh, sort of underlying thing where it's cool to like shit on men and like hate men, and there's the patriarchy and men are trash, and you hear all this shit from like typically feminists, and uh, I don't think that there's enough appreciation of the hard work that just normal men do to basically keep society functioning. I agree with that. I agree the, with that. the infrastructure <laughs> in this country, in, in all countries, is created, maintain, is created, hold on, what am I, is created and maintained by men. Sure, I just don't think feminists mm -hmm. undervalue that labor. Like feminists, a lot of them are socialists, they believe in unions, they believe in raising the minimum wage, and that affects these guys who are like electricians and the one doing like the heavy manual labor and keeping society running like i don't think feminists are undervaluing these men maybe like a few rad femmes on tiktok saying kill all men but i don't think that's i mean it's kind of, of feminism. It, it's kind of the mainstream like feminist take there's contempt for men by mo i would say most feminists okay i don't think that's true on social media everything's polarized for clickbait same way i don't think you guys represent the average ma male view Sure. Well, I mean, here's the difference, though. I mean, you're saying it's these radical feminists, but uh, feminism has seeped its claws into pretty much every system and every uh, 
pretty much every realm of, of human life, the, the mainstream media, you have academia, every single university in this country has a feminist study or a woman study or a gender study program which preaches feminism. Yeah, I didn't say that. I said radical feminism, like this notion of hate, like male hatred. I don't know if that's well, sept into every corner of would life. You, would you say that the core, one of the core tenets of feminism is the patriarchy theory? That seems, I'm, I mean, in, in mainstream feminist academia, they teach patriarchy theory. Sure. Do you think uh, teaching about like racial oppression is... Uh, hatred against white people i guess well, i'm not saying why doing gender studies focused. no i know i'm saying i let's don't think teaching on... gender studies is hatred towards men well he, here's here's how i think it is is because if your your core message that you're preaching is patriarchy and patriarchy theory and you're teaching vast swaths of women that men are oppressors and that women are oppressed then you are essentially te teaching women to have contempt for men. Because if you're pitting men and women in this war that, again, if men are the oppressors and women are the oppressed, typically you don't teach someone who is oppressed to have any positive feelings towards the oppressor class. Now, I reject that men as a class are oppressors. I see it in the language. I always thought this was interesting. It's like because of feminist movements, we generally don't say even firemen or postmen, it's like fire persons. We don't say stewardess anymore. Like there's a lot of language policing with respect to that movement. But the movement for equality between the genders is called feminism. And the Good point. antagonist towards that process is the patriarchy. I just think that's really interesting. It should just be egalitarianism. But it's feminine. And it's interesting you make a really good point because there's this push, okay, we can't have policemen, fire, firemen anymore. It has to be firefighters. But in the, the very movement itself, it's gendered. Feminism, the supposed movement for equality, is gendered. And, and the main obstacle towards that equality is gendered. I don't know how we got to that, by the way. What? Hmm? Why are you... Are you Staring daggers at me. I'm That's your smoking gun that the word feminism has feminine. Like it's not my. Well, I mean, it's. It's that's inherently one of the, anti male. Yeah. But well, it's more just I, that's not my biggest grievance with feminism. But it, it is interesting to me that a lot of feminists push for renaming certain occupations so they're more gender neutral. However, the supposed movement that is at the forefront of fighting for equality continues to call itself feminism when it should just be egalitarianism. I guess it's semantics. I don't think, well, I don't think it's semantics because feminism is an ide ideology that's basically steeped in man, man hatred. I don't know, I don't see it that way, but feminism's super broad. I'm sure there's, like I said, there are a lot of feminists who genuinely Well, do if, if you step into a, like a feminist, feminism 101 class at any university in this country, they're going to teach patriarchy theory, which, suggests that women are and were oppressed and that men are to be blamed for that by virtue of their gender. Yeah, those classes aren't teaching you to hate the male electrician. They're saying that people who occupy positions of power have tended to... Can you just tilt your microphone down? They aren't teaching women to hate like the male electrician or like male homeless people. They're saying patriarchy theories that saying people who hold positions of power have tended to be male and they continue to tend to be male. This but is feminism attacked positions of positions of power including husbands and fathers their position of power and authority in the home so it's it's attacking everything from the family yeah and it's, it's done a family. lot i think the fact that now you know it's considered rape if you oh sorry if it's, it's considered grape if you grape your wife that's a product of feminism that's would you consider that also being male hatred i'm not sure what I was the question what's the question follow um that's a feminist thing that happened before. It wasn't considered grape if a man graped his wife. It, w it was just considered like a part of your marriage. So when feminists were the ones who pushed for that, or that's part of feminism, do you consider that m hatred of men? That's actually I true. Well, well, that came out, and I the think in the sixties, grape seventies, you know I mean? and I think the argument for that was that there's sort of a lifelong consent 
when you well, take okay. your marriage if, vow. If, if one of, just point blank period, if someone is not, not consenting, and, like that's wrong. Point blank period. I don't care if you're married, if one partner is not consenting to sexual activity, but then, they consider the consent implied. Like our dialogue of consent is getting pushed by feminists in these so-called man-hating spaces. I, what, they consider the consent assumed. In feminist spaces? Or you, you mean like Like you're saying that lack of consent is always bad, but I'm saying yes. they would consider just the fact that you got married well, they're, they're then all, the sex is consensual within that institution of marriage. Like the definition <coughs> of consent changes with the times and the, the cultural scene. That's not like the root or the. Is this like a gotcha or something? I mean, like. How is it a gotcha? I'm saying you gave you were talking about consent, and I was saying they would have probably well, said you, that that's still brought, consensual. I mean, you brought up that question. What question? What I mean, this is the this that's the one example you brought up of in the past, consent was assumed, and look, there were all kinds of shitty, uh, shitty uh, ways in which people. Uh, moved throughout the world historically. Right, but I'm there just saying slavery, when, when for feminists example. were looking out for wives in that instance, you wouldn't consider it that being hatred towards I'm not, men. Well, well, hold on. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that every single thing that feminists have done or, or have fought for are bad things. I believe in equality between the genders. I think but, this is because feminism has evolved a great deal. But I mean, de I mean, if the example you're giving certainly disavow if if one part, regardless of their uh, marital status, if one person is non-consenting, then that yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Right, but even today, feminists will say in the Me Too movement, like a lot of consent isn't being respected. But then some men will say, oh, they're just manheading feminists. They want to call us all grapists. So I'm saying it's the same conversation, just in a new era. Well, I mean, that's one component of feminism. But I don't see how that's question? really related. Yeah, I don't know if that, how that's <laughs> super related. I mean, I, I know that, for example, that sort of violence is, is you know, perhaps something that disproportionately impacts women. Mm -hmm. um, so it is gendered to some degree. But, I mean, there's all kinds of examples. If we can bring it, though, back to the patriarchy, um, I just... I don't, know, I don't even re really remember where we, okay. <laughs> where we were kind of going. But if it makes you feel better under the patriarchy, you know, before feminism, rape and murder were already illegal and punished by the patriarchy, by men. Men punished men who did those awful acts. 